how to stop lizards coming into your home without harming them and without being cruel. Please watch this video for kind tips on how to stop lizards coming into your house without hurting them, without harming them, without being cruel for good karma. Lizards don't mean to harm us, they're just looking for a place to live and for food. They're just trying to survive like we all are in this world, so we can stop them coming into our homes by being kind and using good ways, because karma always comes back. What we do comes back to us. What goes around comes around. So if we are kind to the smaller creatures in life, life will be kind to us. First remedy, all you need to do is get two teaspoons of Dettol, one teaspoon of onion juice and one teaspoon of citric acid mix it in half a glass of water and pour this into a spray bottle and spray around the window edges and anywhere that lizards come around your doors and they will not come reapply it regularly for the second remedy make a spray of onion juice and garlic juice mixed in equal quantities with water and pour this into a spray bottle spray around your windows and door edges and anywhere where the lizards come Reapply this spray regularly, make this onion and garlic juice and the Dettol juice and add this in these areas so the lizards will stop coming. Keep on reapplying it regularly. Also, you can put peacock feathers around places where lizards come. They seem to hate peacock feathers because the eyes of the feathers resemble the eyes of predators. So these feathers can stop the lizards in a kind way also and they will look nice and bring good luck. Please be kind to the lizards remember, they're only trying to live on this world like the rest of us. Don't make them suffer. Be kind. Don't make them suffer. Be kind for good karma. What we do comes back to us and we never know when we might need good karma back. So please follow these tips and forward this video to all your friends so they don't harm lizards but they can stop them in a kind way. And here are some other tips on how to stop other creatures without harming them for good karma. All you need to do for ants and any kind of insects on your plants is sprinkle very fine black pepper powder, talcum powder, cinnamon powder or chilli powder on the leaves of your plants or in any places where ants come. Keep on reapplying it but make sure you don't put it directly on the insects. Whatever you do, do not put it directly on the insects, just around where they come and keep reapplying it until they stop. If you have mice or rats or squirrels or toads or foxes, please don't harm them, even rabbits. All you need to do is put out a saucer with a damp cloth which has been made very damp in white vinegar. Put this in all areas that you do not want any mice, rats or foxes or squirrels or frogs and they will all stay away without harming them. If you don't want spiders or any kind of insects, you can buy plugs which you can get which emit a very high frequency ultrasonic sound. You can buy these online, check for ones with good reviews and ones which are suitable for your pets. Then if they are suitable for your pets and have good reviews, buy them and plug them into the rooms. These will stop spiders, mice, rats, flies, ants and all insects coming into your home without harming them. Remember that if you have any kind of spiders or insects in your home, you can also make a spray from 50 drops of pure essential peppermint oil mixed with about 100 millilitres of water. Put it into a spray bottle and spray into areas wherever they come. Remember, not directly on the insects, but just where they come, and they will stop coming without harming them. You will have good karma for choosing kind ways. To stop snails and slugs eating your plants, all you have to do is buy some pure copper mesh. Now this mesh is quite wide, and all you need to do is make circular fences around your plants do two or three circles around your plants like fences and lay it flat also around the plants weighed down with stones and the slugs and snails won't cross it and you'll have good karma for choosing a kind way to be extra kind remember when you are walking along the road 
on wet or rainy nights in the dark, use your mobile phone torch and make sure you don't step on any slugs, snails or worms which may become stranded on the pavements. Instead, use a leaf and move them across from the pavement over a wall and you will get back good karma for being kind because they feel suffering too and if you don't pick them up somebody behind you might step on them and they will die slowly in pain over lots of hours. If you are moving large objects in your garden or large flower pots please gently lift them or waddle them across the ground rather than dragging. If you lift or waddle you can save all the little creatures that may be living under them. If you drag them you may crush them and that's not kind. If you like to grow vegetables and homegrown flowers in your garden, before you bring them inside, if you have any lettuce or leafy green vegetables or flowers, make sure before you take them into your home to use for prayers or cooking, turn them upside down outside in the garden and give them a very hard shake. Shake them and you will rescue hundreds of tiny, almost invisible little creatures living on them and you will get good karma for being kind. I call this the shake of good karma, so make sure you shake thoroughly all your homegrown leafy green vegetables and flowers in the garden upside down before you bring them in to save the little creatures living on them. Make sure you never use mouse poison. It makes the mice bleed to death internally slowly over five days causing them a lot of suffering. Use kind ways instead. If you have any uneaten pet food or human food, make sure you cover it up or store it in a tight container so that flies don't lay eggs. That way you won't have problems with flies. If you have caterpillar problems, each spring Make sure you cover your bushes and plants in very fine horticultural netting or mesh. This will stop the moths laying eggs which become caterpillars after. Remember, for any kind of insects on your plants or in your house, you can sprinkle very fine black pepper powder, cinnamon powder or chilli powder, even talcum powder around the areas they come but not directly on top of them. This will stop them coming without harming them. Keep reapplying these things and you will have good karma for choosing good, kind ways. To stop cockroaches without killing them for good karma, just put down white vinegar. You can use empty bottle caps filled of white vinegar in places where cockroaches come and they'll stop coming. You can also put down crushed up garlic, onion and lemon in these places to stop them coming. Pure essential peppermint oil is also great in places to stop cockroaches and all insects. Just keep it away from pets as it may irritate them also. Reapply regularly and you'll have good karma. If you have moths in your house, please don't kill them. Let them out a window and use electronic plug-in deterrents and this will stop them coming. Check that they're suitable for your pets. You just plug them in and it stops all creatures without harming them. You can also put all of your woolen clothes in plastic carrier bags and knot them up and put them in your wardrobe so the moths don't lay eggs. You can also burn some peppermint oil or lemon oil or lavender oil in your home so that the moths are repelled. You can also make a mix of 50 drops of lavender or peppermint oil or lemon oil and then mix it with some about a hundred milliliters of water and then put it into a spray bottle and spray into your wardrobes and drawers regularly to stop all moths coming. Don't use moth traps, that's just cruel. What we do comes back to us. So if we are kind to the smaller creatures in life, life will be kinder back to us. For more tips, please email me at thedpatel at gmail.com. Thank you and I hope you have good karma for being kind. Please share this video. For everyone you share it with, you will have good karma.